Welcome back to Young and Heart Adventures. Today we're going to go on an adventure with Electric XP again. We're getting ready to go on a camping trip to Virginia to Shenandoah Valley, Shenandoah National Park in Virginia. We're going to be bringing our bikes along. I don't know what kind of riding trails or what they really have there, but uh, I thought I would try it out on a lo some local trails first and see how well the Electric XP does uh, on some mountain bike trails. Uh, now you might remember an older video I had done where I took the Electric XP off-road. Uh, that was at a campground in North Carolina and uh, it was some nice trails through woods and it was through forests and it was up a lot of hills. It was a lot of fun, but it was very smooth. It was almost like they had a path, a road, and they just kept it uh, kept the grass uh, cut short and people could use it for walking trails or biking trails so it was like really smooth so first of all i want to say this is not a mountain bike uh, if you're looking to buy one of these to take them on mountain bike trails you might be disappointed because they really don't have any front or rear suspension they're kind of a rough ride and they're heavy um, there's better options out there if that's what you want to do you mostly use this on on uh, roads and greenways but every once in a while you know i want to try taking it off road and seeing how well it does and so I thought I would try it and, and pick some easy trails or some moderate trails, but not anything advanced, and just kind of see how well it does. Because here at Crabtree Lake County Park, they have a whole network of mountain bike trails from easy, medium, and advanced um, levels. And I was concerned because it's pretty heavy. So how well will it maneuver when there's tight spots and tight turns, when there's trees that are narrow? Uh, it's, it's kind of wide here, especially with this mirror on here. I didn't know how well I'd fit through trees and how well it would do over roots and, and the hills and, that, and the, the wooden bridges they have and that kind of thing. So I wanted to bring it out and give it a try. So today we're going we're gonna to do it. Uh, we're going to go pick some trails and we're going to see how this thing performs. So come along with me. <music> Running in first gear and keeping it on pedal assist zero uh, until I hit hills that I kind of need a boost and then I pop it up on one and I use the throttle to kind of get me up over the tough spots. These bikes are kind of heavy, so to just run it on human power alone, you have to be in pretty good shape, which I'm not. <laughs> With these fat tires, it's pretty smooth on these roots and stuff. Not too bad. I just raise myself off the seat if it's going to be a big bump and it looks pretty good. It is a Friday, hardly anybody out here. If you come on the weekends, it's pretty busy. So this would be a little better for me just doing this for the first time. Nice thing about this is anytime you need a little boost, just give a little throttle and get you back up to speed without exerting yourself too much. But yet, Still getting exercise, I feel my heart rate up a little bit. So, not completely cheating, but close. This is fun. Like, total confidence in these fat, knobby tires. They just are very forgiving no matter what the terrain really just works pretty darn good okay. so many trails here this is amazing this is a lot of fun
This cow is pretty rooty. I like the smooth cow. I see where in the world we are here. I'm getting lost. Whew. You are here. Plenty of power to go up over these hills. Really no problem at all for the motor. I've been going for four miles and I'm barely touched the battery. I'm still almost full. Take a break here at this beautiful grassy spot and uh, by this giant tree and uh, yeah I'd say the electric XP bike does better than expected for these trails really um, you know there's no this is not a mountain bike if you're looking to buy one of these to ride on trails you're probably gonna be disappointed but you can ride them on trails once in a while if you want to try that out uh, I found it works great, uh, except for the really rooty trails where you're bouncing around a lot. I mean, really don't have any suspension, so it's a little bit of a rough ride, but it handled okay. Uh, and on most of the trails that were just pine straw and, and just weaving through the woods and stuff, weaving through the forest, um, it was actually pretty good. Even I was a little concerned that because it's heavy, uh, you know, heavier than a normal mountain bike, that it might be difficult to maneuver through some of these tight turns and that kind of thing. But actually it did really well, even, even between tight trees uh, with my mirror sticking out. I had no issues at all. And these tires, because they're <clears throat> the fat tires with the knobby tread, really stable and uh, didn't have any issue with uh, traction didn't have any like I felt confident like in the turns and stuff I didn't feel like it was going to slip out from under me even if it was gravelly or pine straw so and uh, the boost what, what I found was just keep it on either zero or one uh, and just use the throttle to help you out on some hills if you're in a tight spot and, and you know you're, you're slowing down and then you have to go up a hill you can use that to get you up the hill much easier uh, so it really lets us old guys still have some fun out here and enjoy the outdoors and enjoy these beautiful trails they have here. The one little trick I can tell you is that like <clears throat> when you're on really, really tight areas and you're trying to slow down, uh, maybe someone's coming the other way or it's just really tight. If you're in one and you're pedaling, it's going to try to give you a pedal assist when you really don't want it at that point. But what I found is just quickly touch the brakes. You don't have to hit the brakes, just touch the brakes and the motor will kick off and it gives you back control again. And if you're really in, in, a, in an area like that, just put it down on zero so that you're, it's not constantly trying to kick in. But most of the time I left it in one and that worked out pretty well. I was able to just uh, pedal faster than one would, would do. So it really was, the motor wasn't really doing anything. But when I got to those tight spots or those hills, I could just give a little bit of throttle to boost me up those hills much, easy, much easier. And you can see here I went um, so far 4.3 miles. Um, and my power meter is still showing full. It was like down by one notch when I was riding. So really it's not using much battery. You're doing most of the work yourself. A lot of it's coasting down these hills and, and a lot of it is level terrain or I'm pedaling up you know, small inclines. And I'm just really using it on the, the tougher spots. So 
Um, yeah, if you have one of these electric XPs or you're thinking of getting one, uh, don't be afraid to take it off-road. Um, it is a lot of fun. But just once again, you know, if you're looking for the mountain bike experience, they do make uh, electric mountain bikes um, with the suspension. And some of the more expensive e-bikes do have suspension and it would make it a lot uh, smoother ride. Uh, but if it's a pretty easy trail with not a lot of um, uh, rocks or roots, um, definitely take it out and try it. It's, it's sure a lot of fun. I had a great time today.